Yo, what is going on guys? This is Wetfingers Gaming coming at you with another video. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. It's kind of the same thing actually, but it's going to have a little history, if you know what I'm saying. So let's go ahead and get this car going. So this is the first car I ever had. Where's the, oh, I passed it, didn't I? So this is the first car I ever had. It wasn't a Type R. It was 1997 Acura LS. It's got the B18, B1. I forget what it was, uh, 1.8 liter. You know, everything I did do it was freaking, uh, here's change. Let's choose our own color. Let me try to get the color. Oh, I can't really choose from it. I forget what color. It was more, what did it look like? I forget looking back at it. It's like one of these. It's like a mixture. It was a mixture. I still remember the color code, but I can't. I'm just going to throw that on for right now. Yeah, it was BG33P, so it was a Paradise Pearl, guys. I mean, that car, absolutely love. You know, everything I did about it was uh, eBay. You know, this is this back is in high school. Back in high school, let's go ahead and uh, grab some tunes. But we're going to make this into a drift build. But yeah, I was back in high school. It was my first car. You know, my dad bought it from my... Uh, we're going to keep the stock engine, too. Uh, let's see. So I'm going to act like this is my car, you know. Oh my god, eBay Turbo. This is all eBay. Reckon like it's all eBay here, guys. But yeah, so my dad bought it from my uh, fourth grade, fifth grade teacher, and it was a one owner. It had uh, like 160,000 miles, and the dude used it as like a trailer. Like he would, not trailer, but he would tow with it. He'd tow like his jet skis and everything. So when I first bought it, it actually had uh, like a tow hook and everything. I mean, it was just. I don't know, it was crazy. Uh, let's see, how much is the weight? We're gonna have to max everything out here, but uh, yeah, you know, I love the car. First thing I ever did do it too is I uh, bought the car, you know, started tinkering with it. Me and my friend, we'd go to like, uh, we'd go to like, uh, what was it? Uh, what was it? It was an electronic store, store. I forget the name. No, I'm thinking of it. Radio Shack. So we go to Radio Shack, we buy like LEDs and resistors and everything. And I just hook all those LEDs and resistors up, you know, figure out what resistor goes with what. Having no idea, like, uh, if it was going to work or anything. But we took out all like the dome lights, the map lights, uh, the trunk lights, every single light. And we took out, the, it had a little like, uh, you know, a little circuit board on the back, you guys. I mean, you guys are familiar with that. But we took it all out and we like soldered our own stuff on there. And everything it was really cool, you know. But like I said, it was all ghetto. Like it was just ghetto, 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 ghetto. Like eBay stuff and crap. So yeah, uh, you know, it was before I knew like Ohm's law and everything. So I just threw on the different resistors, you know, trying to go by color code and everything. But so that was the first thing we did do it. Second thing we did do it is we went and we drove it. You know, uh, this was probably like day two or day three of having it, and I went. We went 135 with it. And that thing was freaking shaky and rolling around everywhere. I mean, it had uh, a lot of miles on it, guys, like 160,000. But it was uh, it was a hard 160,000. I mean, this guy used it for towing. Like the gas tank underneath had a huge dent for probably going off roading, off roading with it, and hit a rock and got stuck. So the suspension was just super worn and super loose and bumpy and everything. So the next thing I did is I got some eBay, like, uh, let me move the mic, it's kind of loud. The first thing I did is I got, uh, like, an eBay uh, suspension kit, so I grabbed some springs and I lowered it to, I think, I want to say 2.75 inches around there, 1.75. I mean, I lowered it, uh, it was like scraping the ground, guys. It was, it was the coolest thing ever. I mean, it was like the low of low. I was really uh, hyped on it. You know, got my eBay exhaust cat back, or not cat back, it was a full exhaust, so I did some headers, I did, uh, I got a high flow, or, yeah, high flow catalytic converter on it, straight piped it, it was like two and a half inch exhaust from the headers back, and then the muffler itself was four and a half inches, with a silencer on it that I bolted on so freaking tight, I mean, I screwed, uh, screwed on so tight, made two extra holes for it, uh, but then, like, within 10 minutes of driving, it was just all quiet. You know, everything's good. And then you hear a loud boom. And we look back, and it, it just shot the freaking silencer out. It had so much back pressure. I don't know what caused it. You know, looking back at it, it's uh, 
it's a freaking miracle they didn't rip the let's just keep the type r ring but uh it was a miracle it didn't like rip the bolts out like they just shimmied loose or something i mean i don't know like i said i tightened it tight you know we had to drill into it and i think it was stainless steel so we didn't have the right drill bits we were using like wood one so it took like 15 minutes to add two holes but so yeah so basically uh let's go ahead and jump into a uh, good test track i always test at the lime rock but yeah so you know we lowered it it had uh what did it have? It had full exhaust by this point. Blue LEDs. I didn't mention that. Blue LEDs. And then this was around high school, guys. I mean, I was a sophomore, junior. So probably like 16 years old. Oh, we forgot to change the color. We can't we can't drift this without getting my color going. Oh, my God. Help me find the color, Xbox. Just playing. Don't help me. I'll figure this out. So, uh, yeah. So we lowered it and everything, uh, like I said. And then the next thing I did... Is I went ahead and I got me some speakers, you know, I got a 12 and 12 inch uh, like blue LED sub. Forget the sub, it was it was actually pretty good. I mean, it was an 80 dollar sub and it came with the head unit. And for 80 bucks, I mean, it sounded really good. I was super, super, super surprised with it. Uh, if I find it, I'll go ahead and put a little picture of it right now. But it was really cool, guys. I mean, it sounded absolutely good. Like, awesome, the whole car would shake. I mean, you'd hear me for, like, miles away. But this was in high school where I'd blast my music, you know, got to be the loudest, coolest guy. But now it's, like, when I listen to, uh, what am I doing? Let's go to customize. Now when I listen to, actually, I'm kind of curious. Let's see if anyone, what was it, BG33P. If someone has this, I'm going to be beyond stoked. I doubt it. Yeah, no thanks. I should make my own design, guys. But anyways, so let's go ahead and paint the car. Let's, oh, not decals. Oh, my God. Let's just go ahead and find this, this Paradise Pearl. But, yeah, the whole car was so loud. It would shake, you know, all my, uh, the interior of it was just falling apart, just shaking. It was really clean, though. Uh, it was re actually really, really clean. Let's see. Let's get let's paint. So I got to find this color. Uh, I'll post a picture of the car too, so you guys can kind of see. You know, if I could get rid of the Type R, I would, because mine did not have that. So let's start off with like it was like a blue green. It was a mix between these two, so I should be able to go. Oh mother, mother bird. Uh, let's see. What was it? What two was it? These two. Yeah. So fine tune. Where is it? It was like a little bit more blue. I don't know, it's a hard color to find. It was darker. I honestly cannot remember for the life of me. What did it look like? Hold on, I'm going to pull a picture, guys. Okay, so that's the closest I can get to right now. Uh, okay. So, uh, save the current car. Yeah, I mean, this car was, it was a good first car. You know, I learned a lot from it. I did most of the stuff by myself. The only stuff I didn't do is I installed, uh, I had Best Buy. They installed two rear speakers because I bought 6x9. I think it was, but they wanted a 6x6, six six, so they had to cut. You know, I was still in high school. I could do all the stuff now, but they had to drill new holes and everything. But super easy to do, but let's go ahead and test this. Let's get a sweet drift going. I tried up in my wheel to 720. I liked it, but at the same time, it's like I want to stick to what I know. I want to work my way up and get to that 900 degrees because not a whole lot of people rock 900, you guys. Uh, it's really hard. I mean, it's so weird. It's It makes sense, like, when you go from 7... Oh, yeah, this kind of looks like it. Ooh, my car did not shoot flames, though. But, uh... Yeah, it's... It, uh, what was that saying? I don't know. I figured that saying. It's probably really important, too. My interior did not look like this though. It's got that that JDM. See how she ooh, pretty good so far. No, maybe a little camber. Oh yeah, but rocking. Oh my goodness, rocking. Uh, you know, 720. I'm used to 630. But when you rock like 720 or higher, it makes sense to turn the wheel more. 
but it, it's such a muscle memory thing, and that's what I found out. Is it's like it's not that hard to uh, to really throw the wheel a little bit extra, you know, like an extra 180 or however much like you're gonna throw it by. It's not that hard, you know. It makes sense, really easy. Like, but it all comes down to muscle memory. I mean, it is so 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 hard doing it. I mean, whenever I throw into a turn, I have a certain way I grip the wheel, and it's just like it's a habit. This thing's actually drifting not too bad right now. But we need to slam it, max that dip out and everything, and then camber, toe. But it's holding pretty good, banging out third right there. Definitely does not sound like my car. I mean, my car sounded like a complete fart cannon. You can hear it from, like, my friend James Turtle Assassin was at his house one day, and he was like, hey, did you just get home? And I was like, yeah, why? He's like, I can hear your car, I can hear it like turn off and everything. I was like, no way. And he probably lives like if driving distance, uh, mm, I want to say maybe like five, five minutes drive. Oh my God. Probably, uh, you know, if you were doing the miles, uh, just straight across, it was probably two miles, but you could hear that puppy. I mean, it was so loud. So you could always tell it was my car and you could hear it from forever away. It didn't sound good at all, except. It's just the final drive a little bit. Let's give it a little bit more fourth and fifth. Except for when you went all out, you know. My car didn't have VTEC. It was just a B18 B1. So it didn't have that Golden Eagle kit, if you guys know what I'm talking about. But it did absolutely kill it. I was really, I was loving my car. You know, we got it for like 1200 bucks. We're going to increase a little bit of that. Uh, increase a little bit of that. Let's go and slam it. Yeah, overall, like what I uh, like what I was saying, really good car. Uh, absolutely loved it. Great starter car. You know, it's like twelve hundred bucks. You can kind of do whatever you want to it, figure out everything. You know, I added, I did some crazy stuff too. I added freaking like a smoke machine, like a fog machine on the inside. You know, so when, I, when I'd go to parties, I'd roll up and that freaking smoke just pouring out. I added like LED. Uh, like those shooter lights that you guys see, uh, those plasma balls. I put a plasma ball on top of my sub. I mean, this thing was so nice here. It was insane. But looking back at it, you know, at first I was like, why did I do that? It's so stupid. But looking back at it now, I mean, it's badass. You know, no, I'd never do that again. But it was a great uh, learning experience. You know, it's it one of those times in my life where I'm always going to look back. You know, to the days of the tag. And, uh, oh yeah, I mean, I'd always make fun of my car, you know, everyone, this was when everyone started to do those little freaking tail, oh my god, crap, we gotta do a little, a little adjusting, this is when everyone started to do those, like, uh, the tow hook, like, characters, you know, started up with, like, the mountains of, uh, Japan, people would put them on their drifters to see the G-forces of the car, see how the, the, the thing swayed, you know, but everyone in Salem, where I live, just went all out with those. Holy grinding of the gears. But everyone went all out with those. I mean, so I went to freaking Walmart and I bought me this big ass elephant. I mean, it was like, it weighed probably like three pounds. It was huge. I just drug it behind my car just to make fun of everyone, you know, kind of get the looks. By no means was I being serious, but it was just the funniest thing, you know. I never try to race people, though. You know, I never go up to the light. And like rev it at other Hondas or like Volkswagens. I was never one of those guys. I was just kind of like a douche. But I did have fun with my car. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like this car just isn't. The paint actually is not looking how it's supposed to right now. Definitely it looks a little bit too blue. I mean, I might have to do a little a little pearl with it. But I mean, this car is drifting pretty good, better and better. Just takes a while to get used to it, each car. I mean, I did some crazy stuff too. I put EL wire, if you know what that is, it's like electroluminescent wire, all around the interior of this thing too. I mean, it was wild. I probably spent over a hundred dollars in lights. Uh, it was nuts. Holy crap! Let's go ahead and just this to third. Now I'm pretty much gonna wrap up this video here in a minute. I mean, just look at this car. I mean, I tinted my windows myself too. I went. Uh, with five, you know, less than five percent of the light. I mean, it was impossible to see at night. I bought a little kit on eBay. 
Which actually wasn't a bad idea looking back. I mean, even then. Oh my god. You can definitely see that camera on the start. But, uh. Yeah, looking back at it, I mean. It was a good idea to get the tent online. We folded in a tent and it stuck to itself. And, uh. We just contacted the seller and he just hooked it up with the free, uh. Another tent, you know, free next day shipping. So, you know, that worked out pretty good. We learned how to kind of tent windows. And there was creases everywhere. There wasn't creases everywhere. I mean, I've seen cars that are just look horrible. You know, especially the Hondas and whatnot. You know, where it's just like that purple tint where it's like peeling off with giant air bubbles. I mean, it looked professional from maybe, uh, I'd say like three feet back. But as soon as you get up close to it and look at it, you see like little hairs in it. And you see like one or two little creases where we just couldn't work the the air out. You know, but we did use the soap and everything, like professional kind of technique. But I mean, I loved my Integra. That's kind of why I decided to do, or that's exactly why I decided, oh my god, to do my drift build. I gotta get rid of something. I mean, it's acting funky. Let's go ahead and get rid of some camber and stuff in the rear. Uh, you know, in the front. I might get rid of that toe, actually, here. Or just lower it a lot a bit. Or, let's get rid of some camber, too, in the back. Let's see how it drives. Hopefully it drives straight. Because if you don't do the toe and camber right, you just swear it up here. Just the drive. Just burning through all these gears right now. But it does make me miss my Integra. You know, I sold it and I saw it. Once I sold it, I saw it maybe uh, like three weeks later and I haven't seen it since. So I wonder what's happening to I mean, I don't know if it happens to you guys, when you guys like buy a car, you know, and then you sell it and then you see it every once in a while and it's just gone off the face of the earth. It really makes you wonder like what happened to it. It'd be sweet to see my car again, how, how it is to see what the see what the dude did to it. You know, see if you went actually like I think he was going to swap it to uh, 5 speed because it was a LS and I'm pretty sure most if not all LS's were uh, automatic. But I am missing it with this car. Yeah. It was a good nice car, you know. I had to avoid speed bumps and everything because it was uh, impossible. You know, it, it, I'd always drag. My exhaust would change the notes every single time I left my base guys I mean I'd go over they have like those hook things where you can only go one way and my car was sitting so low that whenever I go up over them the hooks would spring up and smash my exhaust like right after the headers but before the catalytic converter and it would I mean it would just change the whole pitch of the exhaust like one day it would sound like really deep and throaty and then the next day it would sound raspy and it, it would constantly be changing and that was like the reason we put up on a jack and we looked at it and it was it was bad, especially for stainless steel. Like I was surprised because, like I said, it was hard, super hard to uh, cut through. So who knows the pressure of those freaking uh, those spike things? But yeah, I mean, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I sure did. You know, probably gonna continue drifting this, do a little bit more tuning. I didn't really mess with tire pressure on things, but uh, I should should drop the tire pressure, maybe to like 25 to 28 area, but. They always run it so high, especially with all this horsepower, you know. Speaking of tire pressure, horsepower, and whatnot, I was so close, and but so was my girlfriend. We almost bought a 2010 Hyundai Genesis 2 liter turbo. I mean, I'm not one for the turbo the version, you know, I like the 3.8 a lot better, and I like the newer models just because they look, oh my god, a lot nicer. But it had 18,000 miles, original owner, and the guy was selling it for like 16000 I mean, that is a steal, guys. I was about to sell my TC right then and there and uh, get it, you know. But it was at a dealership, and the dude that was selling it to me was my friend, so I trust him and everything. But at the same time, he is on the clock, and he's trying to make some money. So, you know, you never want to trust really a friend, unless he's a really good homie, you know that works for a dealership. Like you shouldn't even go to the dealership. I mean, that's my two cents. But we were just going there test driving because she's leaving to go to basic soon and tech school and everything. And she's going to come back with a little, a little bit of money. And she wants to sell her TSX and get uh, like an FRS or Genesis. You know, she had a Mazda Speed 6, the turbo. I mean, that thing was badass. It was fast. 
really fast. I was super surprised. Made me want to get one of those, like the MSR Turbo, or I forget what it is. But yeah, anyways, uh, so that's the end of this video, guys. I mean, it's a little bit longer. I know I always say I'm gonna wrap it up shortly and stuff, but I just get so addicted to playing this game. I get so addicted to talking. I get caught up in what I'm saying. You know, let's, let's go hood view if it'll just totally finish. But where's the hood? But yeah, uh, like always. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't, go ahead and please subscribe. You know, I appreciate it. I just hit 100 subscribers. Uh, the plaque is in the mail, guys. I got my 100 sub plaque coming. I'll reveal it here later, guys. It's going to be dope. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and comment if you like this. Or like it if you like it. Comment if you got any questions. Or looking interested in buying the G920. If you just want to race with me or drift with me online, you know. I'm down to do all that stuff, uh, and I'm back, I'm back to posting uh, daily videos, you know, I got my Elgato fixed, I'm going to be jumping on a set of Corza later this week, going to do the triple monitor and track IR setup, uh, so this week's going to be looking fantastic, just depending on homework, you know, I am going to make it a top priority to jump on a set of Corza and to jump on uh, R Factor, you know, you guys have seen a lot of Forza Motorsport 6 and a lot of Forza Horizon 2. So I just want to change it up. I mean, let me guys let me know in the comment section down below, guys. We're gonna end it right here. This paint is not looking as it was. I mean, it's missing something. I'm gonna figure it out, guys. Hopefully, you'll see this Integra Part Two with the fresh paint. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Wet fingers out.